Good morning, everybody. Sorry about the technical troubles this morning and, and not being able to get a reliable uh, signal this morning. But I'm on the road, and that's what happens sometimes when you're on the road. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's sing some praise this morning. Uh, in case you're uh, coming in late and, and still want to try to get your day started, um, even though it's after 9 o'clock in the morning, my time. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning my song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. The scripture this morning is from Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were the seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and the thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. As a reminder, our theme this week is listening to what the Spirit is saying. And here Isaiah receives a vision, a vision of the Lord calling to him and wanting to send him to his people of Israel as prophet. And Isaiah says, Here am I, send me. What will your response be when you hear what the Spirit is saying to you? Will you cower back in fear? Will you make an excuse about your busy life, your, your inability, um, your lack of expertise? Or will you say, here am I, Lord, send me. It is my belief that the Lord equips those he calls for whatever mission that he sets before them. So rest assured that if you are called and you are obedient to that calling, you will be equipped to do what the Lord has sent you to do. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We thank you for our calling on our lives, whatever that calling is. God, we accept your calling and we ask you for the power and strength or wisdom and knowledge to fulfill that calling. Help us, Lord. Help us, send us, empower us. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, because God is certainly going with you, and have a blessed day.